Alright guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to draw the Lewis dot structure for uh, phosphorus trichloride. So here we go. We've got PCl3 and that's going to give us uh, 5 valence from the phosphorus plus 3 chlorines each with 7 valence for a total of 26 valence electrons all right so we can subtract the uh, largest multiple of 8 which is 24 it gives us two remaining divide that by 2 it gives us one pair of non-bonding electrons and this 24 is 8 times 3 so that's going to be an a x3 e1 3 from this 1 from this so that's going to be the type of structure so let's go ahead and draw it we have the phosphorus in the center, surrounded by uh, the three chlorines, Cl, Cl, Cl. We can go ahead and single bond all of those, and then fill in the octet for each of the chlorines. Okay, so there's your 24 electrons, eight for each. And then we're going to have the one electron non-bonding pair left. We put that right on there. And now we see that the phosphorus has eight electrons, and so does every... Uh, chlorine, so this looks to be the right structure, but let's go ahead and check the formal charges to make sure. Uh, the formal charge on the phosphorus is going to be 5 valence brought in minus the um, 3 bonds, 1, 2, 3, minus 2 non bonding electrons, which is a, a formal charge of 0. Okay, so that's good. The uh, formal charge on each of the chlorines. It's going to be 7 valence brought in, minus 2, 4, 6 non-bonding electrons on each one, minus 1 bond for each one, which is also going to be 0, and that's times 3, because there's 3 of the same setup chlorines. So, um, add those up, that's a formal charge of 0, which is what we want, because this is not an ion, this is a neutrally charged uh, compound. All right. So now we can go ahead and talk about um, the shape a little bit. This is going to be a uh, trigonal pyramidal or trigonal pyramidal however you want to pronounce it uh, that's the shape um, and the uh, bond angles for this shape are approximately 107 degrees Okay. In terms of hybridization, there's one, two, three, four bonding sites. So it's sp3, s and one s three p. So that's sp3 hybrid. And due to the fact that there is a non-bonding pair on top, this is going to be a polar compound. All right. That's pretty much it. If you have any questions, uh, let me know. And thanks for watching.